I caught 234 sheep, and you might be asking, why? They're like the weakest creatures in the game. Well, aside from being downright adorable and able to wield mounted defenses in your base, they drop wool, which I needed on moss. So to that end, I wanted an artisan sheep passive ability. It makes them work faster and drop wool more frequently. But that's not all. I wanted to condense all of the sheep that I caught into the mega sheep. Condensing increases the pal's ability level, so for Wooly here, he can be the big, big shield if you're a monster, or it can drop more of that precious fluffy wool. So to fully condense a pal and raise its ability to the max, you need the base pal, then four sacrifice, I mean a brave volunteers, then 16 after that, then 32, and finally 64. So I caught the 117 that I needed and hoped that I had an artisan in there for the 50% bonus to work speed. I didn't have one, but I did find one with plus 20 and plus 30 work speed, so hey, good enough. But then I found out when condensing that I was short about 20 sheep. So back out I went and that's when I found this. You gotta be fucking kidding. The best sheep I had, plus ultra? This one goes even further beyond. That was my Goku impression, you like it? So of course I had to make this one the new goal. But I hate leaving things unfinished, so I powered up Wooly and worked on getting another 116 sheep for Wooly 2. And that's when I found this. No, just kidding. Wooly 2 was still the best out of the bunch. Though I did find some cheeky artisans this time around. Take them to the thing, condense them into a sheep smoothie, and now Wooly 2 is yoked out of their mind. Aw, oh, look at him. So happy. Ah, here we are. This is what the whole journey was for. Sweet, sweet mega cloth. Hey you, I see you typing right there. I know Melpaca's an EV, uh, I mean, uh, legally distinct creature. Uh, Cremus, drop more wool. But sheeps are iconic. They're even used by the official Pal World devs in their marketing on Twitter. Oh dear lord. 